Hello everyone, this is Trekkie1701C, and we're going to go ahead and continue our playthrough of FS Port. So let's go ahead and get started. Looks like cutscene. Ours was a proud people, and always the strongest. For thousands of years, our empire expanded. For so long, we could imagine ourselves alone in the universe. For so long, never did we imagine advanced life. And we traveled faster and farther, spreading in our galaxy. And before long, we could see the day when our reachable systems would have been exploited. And then, there would be nowhere else to go. And we discovered subspace. It gave us our galaxy, and it gave us the universe. And we saw other advanced life. And we subdued it, or we crushed it. In months, the elimination of billions of years of evolution on a similar but slower path. With subspace, our empire would surely know no boundaries. Right, uh, I actually did not skip anything here, there, so, uh, that the GTSC Plato that's a no-context cutscene, I guess. The Antares system. Uh, proceed to the rival system I guess it's supposed to be philosophical, that's why they're doing, uh, Plato as a ship here. Intelligence has determined that only one Vasudan cruiser remains in this system, the Taurus. If the Vasudans decide to attack the Plato on its so, uh, rivals, they will certainly use I guess we're going after a Vasudan cruiser. Or, uh... The number of Vasudan attack craft in this system is minimal. Intelligence estimates at most two strike squads. If something should go wrong... Let's see. The oh, no, this is an escort squad. mission. We're the escorting the Plato. ...to make the subspace jump to Rybos. Uh, something I guess I should explain is, uh, faster than light travel in free space, uh, that's actually where the name free space comes from. Originally they'd been calling, uh, subspace free space, and it's kind of similar to Star Trek, uh, subspace is a different little strata of space that you can travel faster through, uh, kind of like the nether in Minecraft, and it's access through, uh, nodes. Now, if you're in a star system, you can do what's called an intra-system jump, and, uh, that allows you to jump anywhere in the system, and it requires a gravity well in order to do it. Uh, let's switch out for the Valkyrie here, and see the other weapons, but, uh, getting back onto the jump nodes. Uh, if you want to go between star systems, you have to get to a different node, which is what this is ahead of us. It's just uh, marked with a wireframe as if it was just on the HUD. And uh, you have to go there and activate an inter-system jump drive, which is very expensive, and usually only large ships have it. Uh, you can equip a fighter with it, but it's uh, very uncommon to do so. So usually you'll jump your fighter to a ship, dock with the ship, and uh, have that ship jump through a node, uh, usually the ship is going to be a destroyer class vessel, uh, vessel which is basically going to be uh, like a carrier. And it looks like we've got some bombers here, so let's go ahead and start taking these guys out. Uh, if I remember correctly, this mission isn't actually possible to uh, save the Plato. Uh, so, I mean, it's impossible to fail because that escape pod they mentioned in the briefing, you know, it it's invulnerable, you can basically just sit back and watch this mission, but that's boring. So let's go ahead and blow everything up. Let's see, there we go. He likes to say that a lot, but he doesn't actually come out to help me. So let's take this last spider out. There we go. And absolutely no damage to the Play-Doh. Let's 
course, and you've got about uh, six kilometers to the jump node, about six and a half. Uh, distances are labeled in meters, so uh, you can kind of get an idea for that. Fighters. Might as well call in a support ship for uh, when I run out of missiles here. You can see that little bright white is uh, uh, the little bright light there was a subspace jump node. But let's see what happens here. Reading four unknown class fighters in the area. Signal is sporadic. Okay, so unknown fighters. My sensors can't get a lock on the unknowns. Well, we'll see how this goes. Unknowns are attacking the Vasudans. Alpha One, get a visual identification. Do not open fire. But I want to open fire. Let's see, what is that? Visual That's a Vasudan bomber. I want to see these sensor locks. Free there, which okay. Well, I guess I should probably get back to the Plato here. Just uh, see those little friendlies there that apparently helped us, even though uh, there's no third alien race because that's what the government said is. Uh, the, that little attack we saw in the opening cutscene never happened. So remember, what you saw here today did not happen. Nothing happened. Uh, we totally took out that cruiser and those fighters ourselves. Because that cruiser is probably going to get ripped apart here in a second. Let's see if I want to divert all my power to the engines here. So I can just uh, get back hell? here. They took out the Taurus already. Yep, like I said, they were going to take out that cruiser. The unknowns are jumping out. Did anyone get a close look at one? Of course, somebody got a close look at one. You are monitoring this frequency. And there's more jumps coming in. More unknowns appearing. They're going for the Plato. So let's go ahead and shoot these guys down. We can't lock on to them, and you'll notice they have shields. And you'll notice that I don't have shields. So they've got a little bit of an unfair advantage here. So let's go ahead and take them out. And like I said, I have played this game before. I know what these are, but uh, I'm not going to spoil it yet. Because, uh, you know, that would ruin the front, so... Let's see if we can just take this guy out really quick. Missiles are going to be dumb fire because they can't actually lock on, but, you know, I might be able to do something. You see the Taurus is, I mean, the Plato is using a little pop gun there to take out the fighter, but it's not really doing any damage. And uh, some people might ask why I'm not diverting more power to weapons to help punch through the shields a little bit better. Uh, the reason I'm not is because diverting more power to weapons doesn't actually increase the weapons damage, it just increases the recharge weight. Uh, sorry, recharge rate. I've had a long day, so I'm having trouble talking right now. But uh, that does en enable you to uh, fire heavier weapons that will become available later in the game that do a lot more damage and you'll be able to fire them more frequently than you otherwise would if you divert more power to the weapons, but it won't otherwise increase the damage. So right now there's no real uh, advantage to having all my power in weapons. But uh, right now we're just going to try and pound this guy until either the Plato explodes or he explodes or we'll just see what happens here. I mean, I'm doing damage because he's got uh, flames, which means I have punched through the shields and hit hole. But uh, he's got a very good shield regenerate. And there he goes down. And uh, looks like the Plato actually uh, blew up there. And it looks like it was a self-destruct event. 
because uh, you notice how quickly the hole went down and it did it in the jump node. And uh, the escape pod has jumped away. I guess at an inter-system jump drive. The crew of the Plato made the jump. Return to the Galate. All right, so we're going to go ahead and make an intra-system jump back to the Galate. So let's go back. From your ship's sensors records, it appears there was little you could have done to protect the plane. Yeah, because you blew it up. Will be mourned, but at least her crew is safe. Intelligence has analyzed the data you No recommendations here. And no medals, because I guess I think no crash into enough ships. stuff. They do not appear to be Vasudan. The conclusion is that they belong to a new species. Oh, so species now we're saying that they exist. Sensors. Worse, they appear to have some type of energy shielding system, making them nearly immune to our attacks. But the greatest nearly, but not completely. Weapons. They are more powerful than anything in the GTA or VPE arsenal. We believe the data you gathered will prove valuable in I like how you just in this new like it's just reading it off like bullet points instead of actually sounding like a debriefing. These unknown fighters had been uh, destroyed. I like said that's one of the weaknesses for this game, and uh, well done, pilot. it is something that fi gets fixed later on in the in Free Space 2 and uh, the expansion that we'll be going on to before Free Space 2. But until then, I'm uh, going to go ahead and sign off. Uh, this is Trekkie1701C. Please like, subscribe, and give me a comment and tell me what you think about the video.